Hello and welcome to another episode of Ask the Experts. I'm Rachel Landry, and today I'm joined by my colleague Mackenzie Mills, a product manager here at the company. Today, Mackenzie will be talking to us about the new script builder tool in Global Mapper version 24. All right, Mackenzie, take it away. So this new script builder tool in Global Mapper Pro version 24 makes it really easy for users to begin creating Global Mapper scripts from the user interface of the program. So this tool is open from the file menu, and when it opens, it's automatically starting to record the actions you're taking in the Global Mapper user interface. You see here I'm loading up a LiDAR file, a point cloud, and when that file is loaded into the map view, into Global Mapper, um, we see an entry appear in the script builder um, floating window here. So we have the command import and it lists all the parameters for importing this specific file. I could then make any, you know, any other changes, do a little visual analysis on this file. Those actions aren't recorded by the script builder. But when I move on to creating some more data with our grid creation tool here, I can apply all of the settings through the user interface, that dialogue that I'm familiar with, including LiDAR filters, um, you know, the, the grid spacing and any other options I want to apply. I click OK, that grid creates, and again, that command is recorded in the script builder dialog. So now I have some new data to work with here, and I'll go again to make some contour lines. I'll create some two meter contour lines. Um, so that two meter interval, again, setting up all these options through the user interface of Global Mapper, through the contour generation options dialog here. And when I click OK, as expected, these contour lines generate as a new layer in the workspace. And again, we see our third entry in the script builder tool. We now have the generate contour lines command and all the associated parameters. Finally, I'm going to export these contour lines that I've generated um, to a shapefile format or any other supported vector format um, in this case. And exporting these lines, choosing a destination file, and once this export is complete, again, we see that recorded as an export vector command in the script builder. Now through the script builder floating dialog, I can go in and right click on any of these recorded commands and choose to edit the parameters, editing values individually if I would like. I can also open all of the commands in the script editor, so a user interface tool in Global Mapper for editing Global Mapper scripts. And here I can see all of those commands and associated parameters uh, listed. I can add to them, edit them, and manipulate them in any other ways. Um, finally, I can export this script, all of those recorded commands, to a global mapper script file, a .gms file. I will save that. And I've now created a global mapper script for the workflow that I just executed in the global mapper interface. So here I can open that script in the script editor or another text editor, continue editing it, maybe swap out the input file and the export file for the import and export vector commands and use this script to do a similar analysis on perhaps another data set. Mackenzie, thank you so much for showing us that new tool. I know that our audience will find it very useful in their everyday workflows. To learn more about Global Mapper and Global Mapper Pro, please visit bluemarblegeo.com today. And as always, thank you so much for joining us for this episode of Ask the Experts, and we hope that you'll join us next time.